Welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment of our program brought to you by Madisonville Marine. For more than a decade, I've been passing along Christmas and holiday wishes for Madisonville Marine. And once again, they thank you for a terrific year of business, and they wish you and yours a warm and safe holiday season and Merry Christmas from Madisonville Marine. All right. Uh, 11 SEC teams will be taking part in bowls this year, uh, this month, basically over the next 30 days. I asked each of these guys to rank all 11 mm -hmm. of the SEC teams in terms of most likely to win to least likely to win. So the 11 point games are the most likely, the one point game the less likely. We're going to keep tabs on that. Whoever has the worst record, we will make fun of, <laughs> unless it's me. And if it's me, then we'll celebrate the winner. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll mock the loser. Let's see how we think that how we think the uh, SEC bowl season is going to play out. As you can see, most of us like Alabama a lot. <laughs> they tend to be up there at the top. Uh, no, none of us. I mean, you're talking about five people with 11 choices. Obviously, you didn't have anybody that did the same thing. A lot of them weren't close, though. I mean, we were very much different. Uh, the two that were really the same, I think, Alabama and Kentucky, for the most part. Um, Mike Strange didn't put the cats last. It's a, it's Salute to his old Kentucky home. <laughs> I, don't know what you're doing. I wonder, though, we all put Kentucky dead last. How much of that is a product of the fact we saw Tennessee beat Kentucky with ease? Um, I wonder if, if that's people a were, pretty big part of it. For I, me. Wonder, it I wonder if somebody in Birmingham would have Kentucky this low the way we have here. But anyway, I, let's let's combine all of these. So what I did was I added up the tallies, and here what we got. Uh, our 11-point game as a group was Alabama, who will be playing Oklahoma. Uh, Georgia was 10th. We all like Missouri against an Oklahoma State team mm. that had to struggle to get bowl eligible. Mm -hmm. Texas A&M, LSU. We had Mississippi State and South Carolina in the middle. And then we got into the doubtful games. Vanderbilt versus Baylor, Auburn versus Purdue, Florida versus Michigan, Kentucky versus Penn State. Gentlemen, any of those are we as a group were we wrong on? Which of those stand out to you? It's like, whoa, I didn't have that like that. Anything? That's fairly close to what my list was. I had LSU a lot higher. I had LSU lower because I don't know if they're invested in this game. And I think Central Florida, even with a backup quarterback, has something to prove. That was a concern for me was, is LSU care? Auburn and didn't I, last and year. And if, if, if UCF didn't have the backup quarterback, then I would have put that game lower. But with them, I think LSU mm -hmm. can sleepwalk a little bit on this team. They've also had, LSU's game. had what, two guys that said they're not playing in this game that have already turned pro? I know they had one. I think they had a second one. Yeah. Uh, um, anything stand out in terms? Well, are, are we not giving Florida enough credit? I think I had them down there low, too. I mean, are you giving, buying in too much Michigan? I think the way they got embarrassed by Ohio State, I think a lot of people we were thinking, boy, Michigan's going to come out with something to prove. Yeah, but there's a chance. But there's that a they chance, exactly. Too. So maybe we're, we're not giving Florida enough credit. Uh, to, to your point, Michigan's running back, Higdon, said he's not playing. He's their best running back. Yeah. yeah. And he's getting ready for the NFL. So you take him out of the equation, I think Florida has a much better chance. Any of these games, let's come back to us here. Uh, which games stand out to you in terms of the ones you want to watch? I mean, let's take Alabama, Oklahoma. We'll take that out because mm -hmm. that's clearly a playoff game. Mm -hmm. Of the bowls that are involved, do any stand out that, you know what, I want to watch this one? I want to see Central Florida play uh, LSU. That's one. I want to well, see Georgia I want to see play Georgia. Texas. Yeah, Georgia, yep. yeah. Georgia yeah. Yeah. and Texas, old time kind of sugar bowl feeling. Kind and, of. The, and they mm -hmm. better. Both teams better come out in their traditional uniforms. If I get Georgia and some sort of all-black Power Ranger <laughs> crap and Texas in green, it's going to ruin it and I'm not going to watch it. And I, and I'm better really, be dressed like Texas and Georgia, by gosh. I'm interested in uh, Missouri and Oklahoma State because a kid that my son played with plays for Oklahoma State, so that gives me something to Devin Harper from here in Devin, Carnes. Devin giving Hunter any tips? To, or did he play with Hunter or did he play with – no, he played no, with No, he, uh, he played with Zach. Zach. Yeah, if he played with Hunter tips, was still yeah, in college, he'd be the tip 40 years be, old. hit the books. <laughs> Did he, uh, <laughs> has he given you any insights on Mike Yurchich and when he's arriving? Yes. <laughs> uh, any, anything, any other games that are stand out to you that you definitely want to see? Or, or are there any that you absolutely could care less about? I mean, for me, yes. for me, I could care less about uh, the Virginia, South Carolina. Thanks. I mean, Took the words out of my mouth. I like cross-sectional matchups. And, I, don't and I, I wouldn't lose any sleep if I didn't get to watch Mississippi State and Iowa. You know, yeah, that's a. I mean, that, that's no, Vandy and Baylor is the big snoozer in my world. Oh, it'd be interesting to watch Jalen Hurd in right. 15 different positions. He's not, I don't think he's playing, though. Is he not? Nope, okay. he's no. not playing. And what a surprise he would quit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a shot. All right. Very good, guys. Uh, when we come back, uh, we're going to talk about will 2019 uh, be a better year than 2018 for the Vols? Come on back, we'll discuss. Not a